This video will go over the various ways you can add and edit photos in a WordPress blog post. So there's a couple different ways you can add photos. Um, the first is to just upload your photo to WordPress and insert that photo right into your blog post. And to do that, you'll want to put your cursor where you want the photo and then you can select this add media button. And when you select insert media, it will bring you to your library of documents. So these are things I have already uploaded to WordPress. Um, if you don't have it already uploaded, you can click on upload files and either drag and drop or select a file uh, to upload. So I've already uploaded the file I want to work with. Um, it's this one right here. And so when you select it, you'll see it highlighted with blue and all the options and details from that photo show up here on the right hand side. Now you'll see the name of the file, the size, uh, I could delete it if I want to, and lots of other details. It's important to make sure you're putting captions on all your photos uh, so people know what they are and that's a good place to give a photo credit. This is something I have permission to use through a Creative Commons license. Um, and it's also helpful to put alt text. Alt text doesn't show up in your blog post, but it shows up in the HTML code um, and it helps people be able to see some details about the photo if something's not working with the photo, if they're using uh, special software, or if the uh, search engine is going through the code and trying to pick up details about your post, they also read the alt text. Down at the bottom, it's uh, there are more options here to show your photo in different ways in your blog post. Alignment is text wrap around your photo and so I like to set it to right or left. Um, and then here link to is showing you if you click on your photo where will that send the user. Media file means it will just open up a photo um, in a different tab but I want to give credit to the person who is so kindly letting us use her photo and so I'm going to do a custom URL and link right to her page. And so now if people click on this photo, it will go right to this page. Um, you can also change the size. So you'll notice this is a 640 pixel wide photo uh, that I saved and uploaded, but my blog post is not that wide. So I wanna make it a little bit smaller. You don't wanna upload anything that's too big um, because it takes up a lot of space that you don't necessarily need. Once you insert into the post, it will show up here uh, formatted like you've um, asked it to be. If you look under text edit, you can see all of the HTML code that makes it look that way. So we can see the link that I've inserted that will bring people to that post uh, and the size and then the caption and the alt text. I can also select this photo and change some of the edits so I can make it right aligned. Uh, I can go back to that edit screen by clicking on that little pencil. Um, or I could delete the photo. Another way to get a photo into your blog post is to use an embed code provided on a, a site like Flickr. Um, lots of sites give you opportunities to share your photos. Flickr is just one of them. And so this is where I found the photo. Uh, this is where I downloaded it, where there's this little download icon. You can also click on the share icon here uh, to find an embed code. So you can grab the link, HTML embed is what I'm looking for here um, and I can change the size of how it will appear in my blog post. So again, we want to keep it around that same size. Um, we'll do 320 by 240 and all I have to do is copy this code. So I've just done command C and I go over to my text edit and I will paste this code right at the end. And so you can see it appears at the end of my post um, a second time. The good thing is I can click on this photo and make some of the changes that we talked about in the other photo. So I can make it left aligned, right aligned, uh, center aligned here. I can also go into the edit screen and add a caption here too if I wanted to. And finally, you can add a photo by using the link address uh, or image address or in this case it says image location, uh, that's part of the photo and how it's housed on the internet. So if you right click on any photo, you see options here. And so copy image location, it might say image address, um, either one will work. Once I have that copied, I can go to the add media page 
and insert from URL. And so you can see I have this pasted here and it will bring up that photo um, and I can add a caption, I can left aligned, etc. I can add my link to this photo here. So I can make this link bring you to this page and insert that into the post as well. So you can see same thing, photos there, um, and I can still make those changes. It's important to note you should have permission to use a photo. You shouldn't just take photos off the internet because it's easy. Um, and so make sure you're only putting photos in your blog post that you know you have permission to use. So in this case, I don't have permission to use this, so I'm going to remove it. Um, but this one I have properly credited uh, through a Creative Commons license, and so I will keep in one version.